right, well, some dramatic video inside a space capsule as it re-entered our planet earlier this year. It was the first successful commercial landing in Australia, mate. Another milestone for the California-based company, Varda Space Industries, which is looking to revolutionize pharmaceuticals. Joining us now is the company's CEO and co-founder, Will Brewey. Great to see you, Will. Great to see you, Anna. How's it going? I love the American flag behind you. Uh, what was it like watching your capsule return to Earth and make history there in the land down under? Oh, it was amazing. Yeah, we uh, there was a full shooting star for a whole minute and a half as the capsule came back from space with uh, pharmaceuticals on board as well as some defense products. And so what are you learning from it? Um, a ton. So the reason we make uh, pharmaceuticals in orbit is because the lack of gravity allows us to make drug formulations that you otherwise couldn't on Earth because of Earth's gravity. So it's a whole new way to manipulate chemistry. And so every time we uh, manufacture a batch of drugs in orbit, we learn more and more about how to help people back on Earth. And there isn't a way to defy gravity, like they say in Wicked here, um, on planet Earth. So you don't have to go up to space to do it. What makes it unique to actually go up to space? Yeah, fortunately, you cannot reduce gravity on Earth. You have to be in the free fall of orbit. Uh, that's Einstein's law of equivalence. And so uh, really lucky for us, we can't have any competitors on Earth. <laughs> Amazing. I think it would surprise many people to find out that the future of medicine appears to be outside of our planet. Tell us a little bit more about how Varda is working to develop these life-saving drugs. What's it like once, it's, once you guys are up there? Right, so it's it's pretty simple, really. We develop the pharmaceutical predictions here on Earth, and then when we go to space, we simply press go in one of our pharmaceutical modules. It creates the drug formulation while it's in space orbiting around Earth, and then we send the capsule back home, we pick it up, and now the drugs are ready for analysis and further iteration. Amazing, so uh, is this all gonna be new technology, new drugs, um, finding cures, or is this gonna bring my drug costs down that I currently use, give me the the breakdown. Yeah, exactly. It, it it will help increase the number of formulations you can make. So for example, this has been flown several times on the International Space Station as a research capability where they can take a formulation that used to be an IV bag and turn it into a shot or, or a pill to an inhalable. Those are what I mean by okay. different formulations. And you can create those in the microgravity of space and then bring it back for use for people on Earth. Sure, okay, um, so it makes it more attainable for, for people to be able to use themselves probably at home rather than always having to go to the doctor or the hospital even. The space industry, it's, it's growing fast, isn't it? So, Will, what gives you the most hope about the possibilities and what limitations remain a real challenge? The, the biggest hope is the fact that shipping to space is now just shipping. You know, rockets go up multiple times per week, whereas five years ago that wasn't true. It would be multiple times per month. And so at Varda, we want to make shipping to space and back just shipping. So we want to make reentry as common as launch and be able to do all the new things you can do when you can bring things back from space at such a high cadence. So ah. behind me is uh, our, our reentry vehicle, okay. uh, which brings the drugs back. And it's the uh, lowest cost, uh, highest cadence reentry vehicle flying today. So what's the price tag for it then? Oh, well, it depends, you know, uh, what we're flying. So there's a whole range of different aspects that go into it. Come on, ballpark, this number to that number. <laughs> uh, you know, low, low single digit millions. Okay, wow, cool. Um, a little bit more from you. What are Varda's goals in the coming years? Can you expand on that? Yeah, so the goals are simply to ramp up. Now, this is the third time we've done this. You know, space drugs sounds very futuristic, but uh, it's already happened three times. Our third one was yesterday. And so now we've Kind of proven out the concept in the next few years we'll be just scaling up so more flights until we get to a daily cadence so that we simply look like another piece of lab equipment for the pharmaceutical industry all right good deal thank you so much will Brewy. appreciate your time thank you for watching subscribe below and download our news nation app right now on your phone and you will get fact-based unbiased news for all americans